episode 91 with Nino Fresco. Yeah. Is that all you were happy about? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what to do, what to do. It's your boy DJ Switch, the Mixtape King. If you don't know, now you know, suckers. And uh, yeah, man, we are on episode 91. Yo, we're so close. We are so close to hitting that 100 mark, yeah? Yeah. You're saying, yeah. yeah. One meter. <laughs> one meter, I wish. Yeah. Don't worry, that money is coming too. <laughs> we are in alignment with it. All right, well, you, you know what you got to do. You got to share, you got to like, you got to subscribe, you got to share the freestyle, share the interviews. Let us know who you'd like to see on the show. Also, if you know, if we got any local brands, let us know who you'd like to, uh, well, if you'd like to be on the show. You can obviously, you know, dress me up. You know, we'll obviously promote you, give you a, a young tag over there. Shout out to all the producers sending their music or at least a freestyle beats so the artists can freestyle on it. Uh, once again, let us know who you'd like to see on the show, up and coming artists. This is the platform. And also for the 100th episode, I'm putting this out there. Who would you like to see at the event? We'll probably do like a live event for Shoot Your Shot. We're also confirming the date for Shoot Your Shot. It's going to be going down at Am Studios. It'll be obviously our first, you know, our first stop. It's the, it's the home of Put Me On Switch. And um, yeah, man, let's get straight into it nino fresco yeah 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 yeah. man uh our, you know our producer is super happy to have you on the show nah that's really nice Be that's really nice who's, who's the producer that guy oh, Tawang. oh fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> cool so, like, before yeah. we get into this whole thing what's up with the cowboy sag yo it's it's like it's really more about representation when i came to joburg for the first time um, coming really, from the plus, is that what from, you're saying? Yeah, from the from a farm town in the free state, and I wanted to yeah. like look swaggy in a way that people could see that yeah, this person is clearly not from there. So yeah. Well, you missing the cowboy boots? Yeah, now nah, I wanted to make it look hip hop <laughs> still. <laughs> That's like that. Uh, what's it? What's a brew that uh, LGBTQ brew from the states? What's his name? Little Nas. <laughs> nah. You know? Come on now. Yeah. Uh, you got the hair going too. Your hair is yeah, blue too. <laughs> is that really? No, I mean, no. is that really a thing? Like today? I mean, you know, uh, we're gonna uh, touch on some topics uh, in this conversation because there's something that just sort of disheartened me in the week that I found out. Um, but is that really a thing? Is a look appeal for today? Does it does it add to your brand? Does it make you special? I think in 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 some ways it does. In in terms of um, how you choose to be seen and because uh, i was doing it to like really roll out a project so i wanted people to like when i perform i wanted to have this theme of like a cowboy fresco bringing the show to not the little nas nice, right no no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have a horse at home no no no, no, no. but in the suit they drive I a whole lot I of donkeys did. and shit yeah you know? i wish i had a horse but nah and that's right next to you know that's the border of the free yeah, state you know what i mean actually yeah <laughs> Yeah, I've been there, bro. Yeah, nah, it's it's really fun. I wish I like I really want to go to Lesotho one day, but don't you worry, you're not missing out on a, a lot. Really? Yeah. You only <laughs> want right. to go to Afriski. That's about close enough. But you know, if you want to go get a stamp on your passport, then go ahead. Uh, you get me. Yeah. All right. So Nino Fresco, right? So we're gonna speak about your project called uh, Fly with Magriza. Fly for Magriza. Sorry, Fly for Magriza. Yeah. yeah, that's dedicated to your old lady. Yeah. The grand, to your my grand. lady, my grandma. Yeah. yeah. So you've come out of the free stage. You've been in Joburg for some time. Yeah. And you felt that this this project was it was hitting home more a little bit than ever. Yeah. Now you know that that kind of story hits when you're more of an established artist, right? Yeah. So as an up and coming artist, like your message to everybody right now, what is it? Um, I think stay true to who you are, where you come from. I think for me, having to come here it took me a while to like really like deep it in and be like okay i'm i'm in joburg but i'm still from this place and this is what makes me different because when i came here i'm like yo i want to fit in with everyone that raps here i want to rap the same way and the more time i spent here it kind of like gave me i had to think about where i come from i had to show people like yo i come from this place i have to talk a certain way this is how we talk Great. this is how we you know this is how i want to be seen and I don't mind being the different rapper in the room anymore as opposed to when I started. So I think, yeah, that's the important thing I would tell artists to like stay true to where they come from no matter where it is. I feel you. Yeah. So, you know, going on that on that whole topic, like, you know, the style of rap has changed. Yeah. Everything, it, it keeps evolving, right? It keeps yeah. evolving um, whether you're the top three or not. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. I mean, that's whether you're apologizing or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you got to sound a certain style or way, yeah. right? Um, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people, and this is where it comes to when you're making music now, because in South Africa, 
YFM has just cancelled their last hip hop show. There's yeah, no hip hop so, show yeah. on YFM, right? And that's like a go to place. Once again, Y stands for youth. And, you know, there's still a lot. I mean, if you were at Cotton, Cotton Fest, you would have known how many, you know, cotton eaters there are, the people that love hip hop. Um, you know, we all love piano. But I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you know, when you, you said something that you don't want to be the same. But when I listen to Fly From Magriza, it's like you all are sounding the same. Everyone's okay. Well, oh, you, yeah. you, you know, like your production is dope, by the way. Let's yeah. give you some claps for that. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Yo, I love the production, bro. Yeah, like, man, I love the you. the variations in sounds. Uh, I know you, you know, you're trying to, you're also producer. Yeah. So yeah. you got that rock element that you got there as well. So you know, that's what appetizes me the most when I hear an up and coming artist. Like, how much range do you have? Yeah. Right. But if you mm. are sounding the same, then it's a problem. Right. So you, everyone's yeah. now rapping like with this high pitched tone, and you like, <laughs> you sound like you sound like a chipmunk. You're like, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, yo, man, yeah. like, come on. I get that, but if you look at okay, let's go to let's go to the, the topic of the of the hour at the moment, which is yeah. you know Kendrick and J Cole. If you listen to them, those are hardcore rappers, bar yeah. for bar, right? And they're still selling the most, and they're packing out stadiums. Okay, not every they do not sound the same. Yeah, I hear you. But why is it? Is it a trend in South Africa? Because I mean, if you look, I can mention a bunch of artists, but I'm not gonna mention because you might yeah. just hate me. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, but you'll leave your comments be, uh, down below in, if you understand what I'm saying. Because it goes back to saying, well, that's why you guys are not being played on radio. Yeah, I think I think it's it's more of a. It comes from like what um, that thing of like being like, okay, this is what people like. Maybe this is what I have to jump on right now. Or it's like a, a certain su subgenre of rap that we all want to jump on or like a certain person wants to jump on to be like okay the best people that did this kind of rap had to tweak their voices like sure. this or had to do this so i think it comes more from that and people like we re like people really wanting to like blow up and looking at what's yeah. already out there sure. to be like okay maybe if i imitate that then people will basically see where i'm trying to go i think like i'm not sure exactly about I got to ask because yeah. you're the artist, bro. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. I mean, like, uh, if you listen to, uh, you know, it's like when, when, when T-Pain introduced the auto-tune, then it was the overflow of auto-tune. Auto now yeah. it's like, now it is really the death of auto-tune. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, Literally. you know, it's like yeah. people are overkill on the auto-tune and it doesn't make sense because if, now let's say, for example, you wanted your Magriza to listen to your album, yeah. right? Do you think she will listen to it from beginning to end? That's actually interesting. I mean, I think because some topics that I'm choosing to um, tackle on the yeah. project are like based on me and where I come from and sure. my story, then I would make her listen to it specifically because I sequenced it in a way that I want people to kind of understand where I was mentally and why I'm choosing to talk about certain things in certain songs. Yeah. And there's a reason why it ends the way it does. So I think, yeah, I think, like, I'd, I'd wanted to listen to it, really. Like, to also see it the way I want everyone else to see it. Right, yeah. I mean, uh, your opening song, Pilot. Yeah. Who's on, was it not opening Pilot? I, let me just get this right, because there was a joint there that, that, that got me, right? Yeah. Um, and it's basically, like, you coming in, and somebody was rapping. Was that you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I felt that, you know, and you're basically speaking about your journey yeah. in Johannesburg. Yeah. And, um, you know, and you sort of go into that. And then, you know, you sort of explain, like, you know, how you got to be different. And also in your bio, you explain as, you know, that, you know, this album, it is an album, right? Yeah. All right. The album yeah. was, you know, it, it was dedicated to just your feelings and emotions for you being here. And a lot of people come to Joburg on that tip. It's like, yeah. yo, well, first you got to get here and try and make it big and make a name yeah. for yourself. And then it doesn't work out. And then, yo, now you're stuck. So you decided, well, let me just write something that's more close to art and you sort of become yourself yeah, eventually again, that, yeah. right? Um, t uh, changes I've heard, very, very nice, yeah, right? Very, very too. cool. Then you also had another joint called Lingo with the uh, Lingo, Uiso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you guys meet? This was actually through Sipo from Soul Distro. Um, he, I had this song, like I recorded this song uh, during the sessions for Fly From Agriza mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to do with it, but he really liked it and he was like, he knows someone and he sent it to Isho, got the verse like maybe two days later and it was crazy and we literally like made like, uh, rolled it out like same time, we were like, yo, this one has to drop. No, he's got bars for yeah, days. Yeah, he's like, crazy now. Too much, too you know, much. He's crazy Have you heard, heard some of his stuff? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's he's, he's really, crazy, really really dope. Man. He's yeah. been on the show as well. You know, yeah, shout out to him. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. representing the uh, you know the Costa game. Yeah. You know, trust me when you see what's coming out from you know the switch up. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're dropping real soon. We're dropping real soon. Um. All right. So, the game right now. Where where is it really going? For well, for us. I mean, who is who's our top three right now? Apart from the well-known artists. Dang. Like, as in. Coming up or coming up mid before the top. Hmm. Like currently I'd say I mean um and I'm and I'm gonna like look at people that I think have motion currently in hip hop, maybe like low to nova pounds. Um low to nova pounds, really? Yeah, I mean <laughs> I know a lot of people hate me because they fight me on this, but that's yeah. okay. Okay. Um, Usimamani. Right. Currently. Yeah. We, yes. Currently, that's him. He's um, he's he's hot right. Well, that's only because you know you got that nasty C. Yeah. You know, <laughs> double tapping on the Instagram. You know what I mean? Um, I actually also like Kane Keed. I like Kane Keed. I met him at Cotton Fest this weekend. He's really fire. Okay. Yeah, I think that that would be like the top three, like in terms of the people that I feel like you know have motion currently. Sure. Yeah. All right. So you just performed at at, at Cotton Fest, right? Yeah. Did you come out with spurs, boots? Did you come out? Yeah, I had like, yo, I had. So uh, why did you come to the show, bro? It's all about <laughs> brand, bro. You gotta be in character all yeah, the that's time. Why I brought the hat. I brought the hat, but I wore this this exact. Ah, uh, but this hat looks like it's from China Mall. Nah. <laughs> Until I afford the real ones. Yeah, that's what know, I'm saying. It yeah, look like it's from China yeah. Mall. <laughs> Cause the real one, you're gonna pay an arm and leg yeah, for that yo, real. You know? I know, yo, yeah. You don't have a gun. Like, you're not a gunsling. You don't got no gun no, on you. No, 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 no. I brought the bars today, so you know. But so, I feel like, yeah, I had like um, I was styled by this other girl called by May Lee from uh, Pretoria. All right, shout um, out to you. We got a real black cowboy. Yeah, she she from she South came Africa. Through. She came. <laughs> she came through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still trying to get it. I know it's all about identity, and then yeah. you're gonna change it. What's gonna be the next character? I right, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think you know. We'll really see. At least we know no one's doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah, a good thing. So shout out yeah, to you as well. Because yeah, yeah. the minute they start catching on the swag, you know, just like it's, little Nas, be... <laughs> you're going to be ahead. You're not going to come <laughs> in a space suit or something. You know what I'll I mean? be like looking back at it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on Fly From Agreezer, what's your favorite track? Real Life. Um, real Life. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yep. I think Real Life for me because the production is really crazy and the message behind it being like, um, I feel like I... I, I taking matters into my own hands in terms of wanting my life to change in real life and not just seeing it as a dream and being like, I have to, if I really want it, I have to go get it. Sure. So, yeah. You see, that's context right there. You know what yeah. I mean? Nand is speaking from his heart out here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make yeah. sure you like and subscribe. You know, hit that uh, subscription button. Yo, we want to get up to 15,000 subscribers. We're currently like 13.8, but yo, to switch up, up baby there. and that's what's up you know what i mean and uh, make sure you share the freestyles let us know who you'd like to see on the show once again also if you got any local branded gear that you want me to talk about where you know yo hook me up my wardrobe looking kind of empty you know what i mean but don't be sending me no vest out here it's winter you know what i mean <laughs> come on you know i'm not trying to wear no tank top out here uh yeah we are going to be coming to cape town a lot of people are asking we're going to come back we're going to come to cape town we're trying to get to durban uh we're trying to even get to twine yo right yo it's happening it's all happening yeah. and yo trying to trust me in order for us to get to those cities we need the new you know what i'm saying baba and my man tabang he, he doesn't like being on the coastline he doesn't like the vat because you know <laughs> oh yeah swim uh, with no license you know what i mean uh but that's what it is right i'm um, you know tabang i'm messing with you right yeah that's right that's my yo that's my man that you know untitled untitled network baby you know what yeah. i mean <laughs> man's been getting a lot of work these days he's upset they don't see him no more you know, that's my young in the game right no, um all right that. who would you like to who would you like to work with um currently maybe blacky um yeah but that's like okay so that goes to oh, the way he like, sounds yeah so you know so with the, with the sound that you guys are producing i think you know but also all the hit makers are coming out of Durban right now. We've got the Koilas, we've got yeah. Blackie. Shout out to Blackie, man. He just came back from his uh, US tour. With and Bart like Blair. and like Def Jam is shouting him out big time. Like they're making him a superstar. Yeah. Like he's the next one to go, bye ladies. Yeah, we had the <laughs> audience. We had an audience out here. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he's making his name in the States. And, you know, and a lot of people, you know, uh, okay, yeah. So you would like to work with Blackie, but, you know, my, my train of thought is just going. And we're seeing all the piano artists working in the states right yeah and everybody wants to be in the states 
right? Currently, yeah, true. Currently. Because if we're losing radio shows, that means hip hop artists won't have a voice. Facts. Right? And now we gotta like sort of rely on the podcast to make it work. Yeah. Right? Because everyone's on their phone. So shout out to everybody, you know, uh, you know, sharing their screen time out here and putting yourselves on the YouTube. Uh, you know, share the podcast. It's not just for me, it's for the artists. And you know, you'll find your brand new artists on this show, trust me. And uh, you know, I think you know when 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 people see that they they sort of you know they inspired to be that, yeah. but also a lot of people are getting into the game because it's like this is my last chance because I've got struggles at home, you know I'm not making money, I've got a baby on the way X Y Z. Well, you got kids? Nah. <laughs> Don't laugh, bro. That's a real <laughs> thing. Know, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> That's a real thing. People, Yo, be, the pull up game is not strong enough. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> you get me? And I mean, like, you know, those those are things that people, as, uh, well, aspire to. So they, they see Blackie, they aspire to being Blackie. Yeah. But the only problem is they're trying to sound like him like too. Like him too, true, true. So that's why, you know, that's why, so you're saying Blackie, number one. Yeah. Um, Blackie, maybe, like, coming up, um, Usimamani. Right. Um... Maybe Tony Daimani too, just to, right. you know. Yeah, shout out to Slim. Yo, him, yeah. shout out to Slim, man. He hooked this interview up, man. Yeah. And uh, he's also speaking about uh, Tony. So, yeah, man. So, you're apparently, but you're all friends, right? With Slim. Well, no, Tony. Slim. No, 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 no. Okay, but you yeah. want to work with him, right? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Another artist to check out for that's coming up hot. Really fire, yeah. Right? Okay, but now let's speak about your, why the rock route? You know I mean? Because I did hear it in one of the joints. Uh, you can probably... It's real life, yeah. It's real life, right? So you could hear the, you know, um, the the guitars, you know, in the background. You know, it's got a bit of that, you know, rock authentic kind of feel. Yeah. Um, but also, once again, man, rock has been around just as long as hip-hop has been hip-hop, around. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, yeah. The rock element and hip-hop always go nice together. You know, shout out to Lil like, Wayne. He really, did that. Yeah. He's done that a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because he, he was a punk rocker back in the day. He loved, like, you know, punk like music, that, yeah. you know? And uh, there's some other artists in South Africa that also actually do love that that, that whole punk swag and and you know flipping it around into the into the music. Uh, so, like my question once again is why why the rock roots? You know what what was the inspiration behind it? I think for me it was wanting to make a statement with the specific message to be like what would be the best way for me to say this. Yeah. And when I made that beat. Um, I literally got that. I was like, yo, I feel like I can literally just say whatever I want to say on this beat yeah. without thinking, well, thinking about it, but yes, but really say it and make people feel it and be like, yo, he really means what he's saying. Sure. And I think that's um, really why I went the rock route. And I think, yeah, it's the only song on the project that really does that. And that's for that like specific reason yep. and there's a reason why it comes after changes because it's like me literally changing into this person that's bold and feels you know really strongly about their life at that point so yeah cool now also you an animator so you're in, multi- yeah. in the multimedia space yeah yeah, 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 yeah hey yeah. man you see you, you can't just be in uh, like a rapper you've gotta Please. be <laughs> yo you gotta be the fucking mayor also too you know what i mean <laughs> You know, so, you know, you're a rapper, you, you're in multimedia. Are you self-taught? Uh, no, I studied uh, multimedia. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, you, so in this music video, right, we're going to check this out. Tabang's going to put in the in the bottom over there. It's yeah. called Ridiculous, right? Yeah. I love the vibe. I love it. It's very abstract. It's, you know, it's got its whole thing going. It's with, you know, it's all those cool clouds and clouds, shit. Yeah. Very, very cool. I think we're going to speak to you next for our other music video I want to shoot. You know, yo, we nice. better get some of them freebies out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Um, shout out to Graphics Guy. That guy is also dope. Have you seen him? No. I graphics Guy, he did he did, he did um, Big Hash's one music video where it's all just lights, but you only see a body moving, but it's just lights, but he's very, oh, very dope. Oh, I think, I think I know. You know the music video, about, yeah, trust me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, man, tell us about Ridiculous, bro. Um, so this was actually a performance at Symbol. We we worked with this other guy uh, called Loi, so um in midrand i can't remember what these studios are called but they had like these big screens mm-hmm. behind and we oh, had to like okay. yeah, literally search up the visuals to use for the song and what would look um aesthetically, aesthetically like, yeah. nice with it and i like the fact that you know it's it feels raw in a way because we we still see it's not like a green screen type of yeah, thing. yeah, we yeah. Still yeah. See that it's a it's digital actually screen a actually digital screen yeah yeah i love it bro because you know you know and, and this has always been my thing you know you can't tell me 
you're a creative, but you, you don't have a creative mind to shoot a music video. Yeah. Because, you know, because a lot of artists say that, yo, we, you know, we want to shoot a music video and we create us. I'm like, bro, but your music video looks just like the other music the other video. Music videos, you yeah. understand? And that's why I'm loving like your whole brand and how you've encompassed it with uh, Fly From Agriza. You yeah. know, you've got the whole cowboy thing going on. Also, check out his cover. Uh, the cover art is dope. It's like, you know, in the zebra, uh, zebra, skin, zebra skin and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's cool. And it's cool that your music, your music videos is catching the it's for me, Leno. This has also been a rule. If you're not a dope rapper, right? Make some dope visuals, <laughs> right? And if you if you're a good rapper, you don't have to do anything else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You could be just standing in a room and rapping. And you know, if like you know, like who who you know, a real creative is like Tyler the Creator. Yeah. You understand? Like yeah. that is a creative. You know, understand? Like he creates. You understand? It's yeah. not just like you know when you say you create. You know, I can say I'm a creative because I've created many things from scratch. From scratch. Oh, you've done it before somebody else has done yeah. it. You understand? Yeah. That's what being a creative is. Don't tell me like, you know, just like someone says like, yo, man, um, I do a podcast. I'm a podcaster or I'm an internet influencer or I'm a, a video content creator. It's like, bro, like if you do that, then show us the content you're creating. Because if your content looks like the other person's content, then it's not really creative yeah right really. and and if we're all marked on that we'll all fail yeah you get me yeah and I, you know i love this music video it's cool go check it out it's called uh a ridiculous it's a performance by all oh, at symbol studios symbol, right yeah right and of course that's on youtube check it out it's very, very cool i love i love the raps i love you know how you you, you flip it around you change it you go abstract mm. and you come back to normal and it's like it's just nice to hear the variation in it yeah. and that's why i said i love your project uh, you know, fly from a greaser. It really makes sense as to what you're doing and how you're trying to achieve it, and you're bringing that, like, you know, that 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 uh, that spice. You yeah, know what I mean? No, and I and you know, I spoke to one of my my other hip hop colleague friends, and you know, he said, "Look, YFM don't have a show because what is hip hop offering? Right? Yeah. How do you think you can change this game? Um. Honestly, I'm really just trying to like you said, create something uh, new, but still honoring where hip hop comes from. Like, I think, you know, my thing is I really study the game, like really. Um, Who did I, you study? Yo. We can study the yeah. game. We can talk about <laughs> it. Yo, I can, yo, we can both sit and talk for the next <laughs> two hours. Even. So who's the, who's the top three that you studied? Um, obviously, Kendrick. Um I was listening to a lot of Lupe Fiasco um, uh, um, last Some night. Some of them are 2000s. Don't yeah. even know who Lupe <laughs> is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um, I loved Lil Wayne growing up. Like, yo, I, I like the first song I knew how to rap for. Or recite, is, um, yeah. Recite is Amelie by Lil Wayne. So I but, was a big that, Lil Wayne fan. Yeah, but that music video was crazy. It's probably one yeah. of his biggest hits. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yo, that's crazy. And yeah. when you when you produce, right... Um, do you get do you outsource beats from other dudes? Do you you know do you work with other producers? Do you send like you say like I've got this this like sort of uh, foundation of a production yeah. and you want to further it? Do you send it to somebody else? Um. So initially, I used to produce everything like from scratch by myself, and obviously, the more I started working, people started hitting me up like, "Yo, can you can sure, I send you sure. beats?" And the more I worked with other people, I realized you know especially when you want to write a lot because I want to like put I always want to push my pen so I want to spend more time writing so I'd produce and then if I feel like I the beat is enough I can write and then I feel like it could go further I'd send it to someone that okay. I know is really nice with sure. maybe 808 or mm, melodies mm, they mm, can switch mm, it up mm, or mm, even mm. hi-hat so yeah yo man shout out man because I think that's so important to if you really want to master your craft I mean like when Jay-Z puts an album together yeah Bro's got like five to six producers. Yeah, then of six course he's got years. then he's got Rick Rubin, his executive, like saying yeah or nay, right? Yeah. And he's like maybe you should do this or do that. And like there's another person sitting there listening and saying, you know, and and this is the one thing I hate about like up and coming artists. They stubborn and like they believe this is like the project. <laughs> And yeah. it's like, bro, this is not it. I mean, like, when you, when you, before you drop, do you send it to people to listen to or do yeah. you have a listening session? I, I, I sent, I, I literally, I called everyone individually to like come listen. Come listen, yeah. Um, I'd have them rate which songs they like or which songs they feel like aren't good enough. And 
I think that's how I got to where I was because I managed to like hear different perspectives. Sure. Sometimes I'd call someone knowing that um, they only like this type of music yep. and I'd play this for them and they'd be like, okay, maybe they gravitate more to this and I'd be like, okay, now. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Because there's so much things, you know, uh, you know, artists miss when, they, when they're coming up because first of all, they want to do it all by themselves yes. because, well, first they get like, they go and buy, spend a whole shitload of money on equipment and then it doesn't work out for them. Then they got to sell it, yeah. right? Or, or they, you know, they get in, they're sitting in a studio session and they think they can rap because now they've seen their friend rap. So now they also just, yo, can rap. I rap, bro? Yeah. Can I, let me just give me <laughs> a let shot. Me hop on. <laughs> yeah, let me hop on, bro. <laughs> and it's like, okay, cool, hop on. And then they, they, they sort of feel they're nice and maybe they can just do hooks. Like, yeah. you know, the master of hooks is Nate Dogg, yeah. right? And we have some of those people in South Africa too where they just can do hooks, yeah. right? And that's like, yo, you're the hooker. You can just do hooks. You're amazing at hooking, right? They're not standing in the street, but on the <laughs> mic, whatever you consider as a mic, you know? <laughs> um, so it's just those kind of things because everybody's got to get their place, yeah. right? I mean, you, I see you got management. Shout out to management in the building, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You got management. And then it's also like, you know, where's your content guy? He's supposed to be shooting you right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the game is like really just changed. It's really just opened up. It's, yeah. You know, and we can't have a lot of yes mans around, around us all the us. time. Yo, yeah, true. You true. know, I mean, like, yeah. I'm sure you have one bro who's always like, yo, bro, you know, this shit is wild. <laughs> like, I mean, like when like when you walked in here, Tabang was so excited. Like, yeah, man, yeah, I'm excited for this interview. That's like a yes man. <laughs> You know, that's yes man. <laughs> that's yes man attitude. Yo, bro, I'm out here. Yo, we got Nino. I'm like, bro, relax. Let's first see, let's see, bro. Let's you see might, you might, you might, you might not like what he's gotta say. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah, man. So all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, check out the album. It's called Fly for Magriza. Uh, that is Nino Fresco. You're gonna have to take off the cowboy hat now. We're gonna play some uh, beats, and yeah. um, we're gonna be, yo. Yeah. I brought out another hat. <laughs> Oh, because you know why? The dye ain't fresh. <laughs> it ain't blue enough, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see? <laughs> looking rough out here. <laughs> now it's looking real like South African like now. Up, like an upcoming artist. Yeah, now it's looking like, <laughs> I don't know, like a machita now for real, you know what I mean? All right, so I got a nice DJ pack here. It's actually from, it's yeah, it's from Zolile, which is actually... Um, Touchline's producer He's from Durban oh, fine. Right So we got Zolile In the cut And uh, I think I have one or two From Mayhem We'll see which one it is But uh, we'll yeah. see Alright it is that time It is the freestyle section Brought to you by my, Myself It's the Mixed King <laughs> We're out at M Studios Make sure you like Subscribe Let us know What you think about the freestyle Let your friends know Let your mother know Let your cats and your dogs know Here we go It is none other than Uh Nino Fresco, your yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the switch up, baby. That's right. And of course, actually, this is Mayhem Beats right there. All right, here we go, sir. Hey, huh. All of my haters are meaningless. How can you talk and be penniless? I cannot beef with the internet doing too much to be villainous. It's fresco. Okay, I'm fresh. Okay, I'm living your fantasy. The man in the mirror ain't proved by the day. Tomorrow is holding the better me. Don't tell me you touch, just show me some love. Nobody is raised to be enemy. Foot on your neck, can't let you breathe. Fresco is gas, just take it in. Stranded a drip, this island deserted, but I'm kinda glad that I cannot leave. Bagging these bitches like grocery. I gotta make sure they ever need. Get to the money, infinitely been in it since I've been little man i got some evidence hey. <laughs> check i in in a minute as soon as it hit i'ma do the mandela dance she want the candy i did that i see it i got her sucking on my licorice <laughs> smile on my face while i kill him i'm crazy i pray on the ones that are innocent indefinitely i got targets these niggas be hating on me i got bitches and all of them loving on me fresh today can't you see others coughing on me hella sick like a nigga be coughing on me caution on me watch how i move like i walk with a stick licking at you that is not how you live look at my scars man i've been in the mix yeah i got stuck in his fans this battle with poverty my self-defense i gotta be honest i cannot not win i'm him him <laughs> uh, nino fresco <laughs> huh yeah. <laughs> on the first go, he just hit it up like that. <laughs> They're on your licorice. He <laughs> got hands like groceries. Yo. <laughs> I yeah. like that line. Nah. <laughs> I got hands like groceries, huh? Bagging these bitches. Bagging these bitches like, like groceries. groceries. <laughs> <Jeez>. Damn. <laughs> you really got that many? 
We're just breaking down. We're just yeah. breaking down the buzz, bro. That's all. Nah, for real. Yeah, yeah. So I want to know what a white dude says when he's speaking about his licorice. I got a... What do you say? Nougat ball? You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. You got another one in you? Um, you yeah, got it, bro. It's, you, know, you just don't come here Is just it, doing one. Let me yeah, Let me hear. Here we go. Zolile on the cut right now, your boy. And of course, we got a Nino Fresco. Delivering right at M Studios. Make sure you like, subscribe, let us know. Here we go, sir. Yeah. 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 Uh. My default settings ain't like you niggas. I've been on the grind since Yahoo. Listen, exclusive cut denim ain't no other place to get it. Of course they wouldn't get it. Swag inspired by my village. I don't even like shades. I just rock them for the women. Nightlife living where the women all thrifty. One night stands like the last day on earth. I just wanna be a winner. God, I'm trying not to learn cause lately niggas rapping like they trying not to earn clubbing to have some fun till i see him in the murk like maybe i should leave and try to put in some more work took a shot and went outside i saw i saw my future lurk life with no breaks is speeding towards demise eight weeks in the stew i could have really lost my mind somehow i done forgot the fun was the bottom line Chasing the dream so long I couldn't open up my eyes Call back home, let your lady catching up She wanna know why I do not celebrate a dove Shit ain't been the same since I signed up for that loan I wrote until I ran, not a shit to rap about One rider's block taught me by my whereabouts Too much drive, almost wore my tires out Like junkie caught by community, need help from the crowd Why do I even do this if I cannot live my life? <laughs> alright, 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 alright Alright He's catching the beat though, that's Ish. important <laughs> That one was a bit mad, but It yeah, was. was a bit mad, but it was I love the focus, I love the focus uh, uh, You got another one? Yo, uh, we don't do stop. you have like a, a boom bag in here? <laughs> Like a rap one. I don't, I don't understand, bro. We've been fighting this thing, you know. Yeah. Once again, this is a disclaimer. When you walk into the room, yo, <laughs> yo, we're gonna play everything. If you flop uh, or not, you uh, know what I mean. Uh, everything uh, is nah, going on the cool. net, you know what I mean. <laughs> I gotta let you sign that release form, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> and um, yo, I mean, like, what is it? When you, well, did were you preparing for boom bap? Nah, it's just something that you feel like with with freestyles, there are some beats right, that, right. that are easier to like yeah, jump on, and yeah. there are others where you have to like. Wait for it a bit yeah, before yeah. it catches you, but yeah. Yo, man, Tabang, we got to really fix this thing because it's like, first they want trap. Ah, when you come, <laughs> then they want boom bap. I'm like, jeez, bro, it's like, <laughs> choose one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, just because I'm a boom bap, like, fanatic, it doesn't yeah, mean that, that when you come here, it's going to be boom bap. And, you know, I was speaking to some other uh, creative co uh, well, content creators, and, um, you know, when you do a freestyle, and let's say you just put out a free stuff for content. Yeah. Do you always do it on a, on a known beat? No. I actually don't like doing it on known ah, beat. Shout out to you, bro. Because yeah. this is the thing. Like, It's cool if you do it on a known beat that everybody knows. But if you don't serve that beat, yeah, yeah, it's going to be late never, for you, yeah. bro. Because let's say, for example, you do, you, you know, you go and you rap on Karakara Kara and you don't make it as swag as KO did. You just shot yourself in the yeah. foot, right? And... That's why when we do this freestyle section, I always use other producers so that you can get to, used to the idea of like, yo, man, I'm going to have to one day jump on someone's on shit. something you don't know, yeah. And, you know, and, you know, this is always the thing, like, the, the other, you know, how many artists have told you, like, yo, bro, I'm not feeling this beat? Yeah, a lot. A it's lot. always the case, right? And it's like, yeah. bro, it's not about how you feel about it, but the vision. And let's say, for example, the producer is like, yo, bro, you will sound dope on this. Can you work on it? And they're like, ah, but I'm not feeling the groove. I'm not I'm like, yeah, bro. I don't know how many times I'm sure, you know, Kendrick, J. Cole will probably say like, yo, I'll work on it, but I don't but know how it's going to sound. I don't know sound. how it's going to come out. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's okay. You can work on it. That's We're working towards something. And yeah. once you get the flow for it, it'll come to you naturally, right? Yeah. All right, let's give it, let's, let's go for, yo, I got five beats. You only get us two, bro. Trust me. All right, here we go. All right, we got you. Uh, damn, I forgot to the produce. They're going to kill me if I don't say the name. You know what I mean? Damn. Oh, there we go. This is Olile. 
Alright, right, here we go. There's your boy DJ Switch. We got none yeah. other than Nino Fresk in the building coming to live from M Studios. It's yes, the sir. Up, baby. It is yeah. a switch up. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. One bottle, two bottles, three. Never too broke to celebrate that I breathe. Hanging with my guys, they run through my arteries. We good this side in case you check in symmetry. Moving like splice, you getting checked for melodies. Recommend you think twice before you diss me on that beat. I got five women around me, I don't like polygamy. Told them no strings attached, they composing symphonies. Angels, but they done this in for me. She don't think about tomorrow, she will always be Eve. For the fruit that I reap, with you for my esteem. Realized I'm really him, like I got no self esteem. You popping for your niche, cause it's not including me. Competitive nature nurtured for I was a T. Now I'm really trying to find out what it means to be free. What it means to be me without bringing you down. Sci fi gifted, battery bars highlight gangster rap lyrics. Confident, you would think I'm raised on white privilege. Obvious, chin up cause my mama raised the winner. Partying, did it cause my mama wants me living. This my inner child. This my truth beyond spirit Life was looking wild That's why we wanted to be killers Went from thief and then and night And now we organizing dinners We in the building Hey <laughs> At the end right there Yo <laughs> Yeah, I'm giving you right Yeah <laughs> Yeah he's also giving us too <laughs> Huh <laughs> My man's not like Another beat Another beat <laughs> He's not even choking bro He's flowing You know Africa, in Africa, you said, nah, I'm glad, man, I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're gliding, bro. You're sliding, nah. you're sliding on these beats, bro. Yeah. You got another one? Yo, let's just, just see, content, bro, you know? Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Zolil in the building. Uh, of course, your boy. It's yes, sir. Up, Coming to live from M Studios. Yo, we just gotta yeah. play the bros, man. That's how we do the ride here. Uh, Nino Fresco. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me catch it, let me catch it. Uh. Yeah. Yo, 13 years old, doing shows, it was free. Trapping every weekend so my grandma couldn't sleep. Riding solo dolo, hottest ass onto a team. Nothing in my pocket, had to borrow you as bees. Don't know what it means every time they pay a fee. Yeah, I can't believe only God knows where we been. Hand on target market crowd was tripping up for bean. Uh, what I seen every night onto a scene. That's why everywhere I go, I let them know I keep the peace. Mama used to please, she was scared I'd be deceased. Told her this the life for me, I accept the T's and C's. Belly of the beast, used to feel like I should flee. Now this my flea market, I'm just selling for the streets. So them start the game without me, I was saving up for key. This time I ain't playing, I ain't in a different league Going super sane, no vacay to say the least I've been dodging Satan, rubbing dust off on my knees I don't care, rappers like me, I'm inspiring my niece Every time I'm on a beat, give them something new to steal Me and Sipo talking business, how we gonna seal the deal? With Taylor Speed, man, my life cannot be real Really sang my way through high school like an episode of Glee Hey, alright, 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 man Yo, I'm giving you some tough beats out here <laughs> Huh? Well, look at the bang. He's like a yes man's clapping yeah. for you out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just come to go shout out, nah, man. Yo, shout out to uh, Zolila. Yeah. Yo, that's some old ass beats, man. That's like yeah. some of our first beats we got on the show. Fire. And um, yeah, that's actually Touchline's producer, like this main producer. And um, yeah, man, it's good to see you. Just you know, you, you're not saying yo, give me another beat. You're just feeling the vibe, yeah. and then you jump on it. Yeah. Even if they are written, guys, understand something. You know, the guy's just, he's just showing his versatility. He can jump on anything. Go listen to uh, f- uh, Fly For My Greaser. It's available on all DSPs right now. And trust me, it's a bag full of goodies. Just open up your mind, open up your ears. The, you know, the creativity is in there. And, you know, when I did a show, uh, uh, another, uh, not online show, but a TV show, um, you know, I always look at or listen to the artists and see what is the like variation, like the variety, like what is your, your vocab in terms of music. Yeah. You know, you can do you can do trendy shit or you can do like, you know, sh- uh, abstract shit that yeah. hasn't been done before. And that's what normally set people apart. I mean, look at Tyler. Tyler, no one was listening to Tyler until he won the Grammy. Yeah. And then when you go listen to it, you'll be like, yeah. actually, what was I going to... Was I gonna? My question is, would you have listened to Tyler, the creator, before you knew his name? You know what I mean? Like yeah. when he was in his whole gang, like yeah. they were doing like abstract crazy. Yeah. You know, and you were yeah. just like, ah, I don't know, man. Because they were like... They were like, you know, raging out with the punk rockers, bro. Yeah. Like, that was their whole shit. You know what yeah. I mean? And now the guy's designing for Louis Vuitton next to Pharrell. Crazy. Come on. Crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, I'm really excited. I know um, 
I really found out about you. Uh, and once again, that's what it's about. It's about learning to find about who the new artist is. And that's what put me on Switch is about. We're yeah. digging in the crates. That's a DJ term when you're looking for records, especially for the unique records. So we're digging in the crates. We're finding new artists. And um, this is the platform we're going to, you know, sort of give them that. Well, not, I don't want to say that word, but this is the platform for it. Uh, you know, where you're going to find out about them, know about them. And also it's up to you to let us know who you'd like to see on the show. We're coming up to the 100th episode. Who should we have as a special guest? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you like, subscribe. Yo, if you want to give us some super chats, uh, donations, do that too. And uh, anything else we should be looking out for? Um, more visuals from Fly From Agriza. Like, I'm really trying to take it up there with the visuals. Yeah. Uh, more features. I'm really trying to rap with more people this year, honestly. Um, yeah, and mo maybe more music. I don't know. More music from the features, but I'm trying to push Fly From Agriza as much as I can. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yo, man, you do really rap for sure. And I know yeah. I, can, I can see your pen game is there. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> the, you can work on some of them. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to I gotta start being, I've been told like, yo, you're not honest some of these guys. Yeah. So if it's mud or if it's whack, you know, yo, you didn't get a buzzer. It's yeah. kind of cool, right? So that's yeah. the only thing you're happy. Yeah. You got to be happy for, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yo, man, it's just like that. It's your boy DJ Switch, <clears throat> Nino Fresco in the building. And of course, yo, we out. Peace, peace.